Hey guys, it's Austin from Killer Cut Effects, just showing off some of my old work. Um, like a lot of mask painters, I started out with the uh, cheap hawks with the uh, just the three right here and the two right here. Then I drilled out the extra ones and just gave it a an, a so so paint job. Um, still better than than what uh, NECA puts out. Um, this was my first Fred stuff. Just a clean three, like a lot of people do. Um, uh, this was my very first hockey mask that has been destroyed and repainted thousands of times. Um, it's actual burns on it. Um, I had a lot of fun doing that one. Um, this one's like a shower scene part four. This was good for my uh, fright stuff. It was a good practice one. Uh, then I did this custom which has real crackles. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick them up, but uh, it has real crackles all over it um, It has some FX blood on it, and then uh, I basically just took bloody or uh, red colored blood um, paint and I just splattered it all over that um, Then I did like the uh, part 5 dream mask with it going all the way down. Um, I think this one looks really cool. I, I still like this one. Probably gonna sell some of my older masks now. Um, also, I did some more touch-up work on my 7. Uh, a lot darker. Um, it's When I come over here, you can probably see the, right here is probably the accurate color. Um, as you can see, it's got like the buckshot marks everywhere. Um, it is a black chevron. I know it was actually red, but it looks more screen accurate than black like that. But um, yeah. So that's my latest news. I've got um, a clear blank here that I'll be making into a custom part five. So uh, that's my update for Killer Cut Effects. <laughs>